Hey, welcome back. I'm out here at Twin Falls Trailhead. Uh, it's snowed here quite a bit over the last few days, so I'm hoping to just get out and take some pictures with the snow and the trees, maybe the waterfalls, maybe catch some ice. Not quite for sure what to expect, but anytime you can get out and there's as much contrast, uh, it just makes the scenery look so much different. So it's a good time to come out and try to capture some photos. So thanks for joining me today on my channel and uh, I'm gonna get my backpack on and let's get going. One thing to be careful of when you're out on trails, especially in wintertime, but all the time, is just be aware of your surroundings. Lots of heavy snow still up in these trees, it makes them beautiful. At the same time, it makes some of them come down like this one did here across the trail. So just keep an eye out for your surroundings. Be careful when you're out in conditions like this. Hey folks, I've made it up here to the overlook for the upper falls. It's super gorgeous. There is, I don't know if you can see it, snow starting to come down. Um, so maybe some of them will come across in some of the photos. Uh, I mostly came up to get the waterfalls and the icicles. So let me show you my uh, composition I got here. Uh, talk a little bit about it, then I'll show you the picture. Okay, so here's the waterfall. Um, there's a lot of trees uh, between here and there. I've been trying to decide to make them part of the composition, not part of the composition. I've taken three or four. Um, this is the one that I've taken so far at 24 millimeters, let me get it over here. Um, did it at one sixth of a second um, to capture the light. I've got a polarizer on. Um, you know, it's a nice picture, right? It uh, captures the waterfalls. You can see um, detail all the way up into the back. Um, I think I'm gonna stand here for a few more minutes with the snow and decide if there's some more pictures to be taken. Um, and if those turn out any good, I'll show you those too. I've stopped here on the bridge at Twin Falls. There's a bridge that crosses the South Fork of the Snoqualmie River. It's like a gorge that goes up through here where the falls are. Um, I don't normally take photos from here. It's kind of like, a, I hate to call it a tourist trap, but um, whatever it's called, like common photos. I think I like what I'm seeing here in the wintertime, so let me show you that composition now. Okay, so this is the falls. I'm looking up into, I'm going to call it the middle falls because there's one more behind us uh, and there's a few more back above this. So these two falls with these, uh, you know, the fall into these pools here. Uh, snow started coming down, which gives some depth to the photo, which is kind of nice. And so let me just show you the back of the camera and the composition that I had here. That is my composition. Um, what I like about this, I've zoomed out a little bit. Um, let's see, I'm at like um, 16 millimeters, so like 24 millimeters on a on a full frame equivalent. Let me get this back here in the center. Sorry about that. Um, F8 uh, at this, I've got full depth of field. Um, I've uh, exposed down about two thirds of the stops mostly so I can keep all the highlight details in. There's so much details in the snow and stuff. Let me try to zoom in here and show you some of the examples of some of the detail in the snow. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, really kind of snowy detail. Um, zoomed out the two sides of the gorge, valley, um, whatever you want to call this kind of gives dark edges, which helps draw the eye up. With the snow falling in the background, it gives some depth to it. There's also some icicles that show up in the photograph uh, in the back on the upper falls, along with some along both sides, so some visual interest. I have an ISO 160 F8, full depth of field, one-fifth, so that I get uh, some movement in the water, but not too much. 
circular polarizer on, do the swipe and photograph process here. And that's how that works. So um, I'm going to show that picture up here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I think I'm going to pack up because the snow is starting to come down pretty heavy now. And I've got a little bit of a hike to get out of here. Hey, before I uh, take you down, show you this last photograph, I uh, promise a little bit of science. So I'm on a different branch of the Middle Fork River today. I'm on the South Fork. South Fork comes down out of what is known as Snoqualmie Pass, so out of the Cascade Mountains, um, down um, from a different path than what the Middle Fork, which is often what we go on together. Uh, there was a volcano at the peak of Snoqualmie Pass, ancient, uh, now gone, much like Mount Rainier, Mount Hood, Mount Adams uh, were today, uh, but it's um, extinct, gone. And this last falls that I'm going to take you to, the lower of the Twin Falls, it represents the interface between that volcano and the ice age. So that volcano would have erupted. There would have been volcanic flows, leaving uh, volcanic rock behind. And the glaciers that came down from Canada worked their way up through this valley and stopped at where the Twin Falls is. So that's why the giant falls I'm ready to show you are there. Uh, it's where the uh, Ice Age glaciers stopped at. But also you'll notice um, below that falls, what we see is we see a lot of boulders, a lot of rocks out in the river. Uh, those were left behind from the glaciers. There are old uh, bits of rocks from Canada that were left. But above the falls, what you see, you saw it in those last few photos, is volcanic rock uh, that those waterfalls carved their way through. So anyway, that's why we have these falls where they are today. Uh, very old volcano, very young ice age, met together and uh, carved an interface. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it and let's go take a look at that last picture. Hey, thanks for joining. I ended up stopping at the lower falls uh, handheld some photos. I'll put them up here after I get done. I uh, hope you enjoy them. It's kind of fun being out in the snow, but it is starting to come down. Winter storm warning was just issued, so I think I better get out of here. There's a lot of stairs and a lot of snow between me and my car. Um, again, thank you for coming. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to see more of me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the little bell on so that you get notifications. I appreciate you coming with me as we uh, explore the Pacific Northwest, in particular the Snoqualmie River Valley here in King County, Washington. Again, thank you and bye for now.